Big news from Jeep today. They have released an incredibly capable, fully electric off-road vehicle that could compete with the Jeep Wrangler or maybe even replace it. And it is called the Jeep Recon. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Casey and I thought we would do a little bit of a reaction video today. We've got Jeep announcing their well, their whole new 4xe lineup this morning, but I really want to focus in on the Jeep Recon, which is 100% emissions free, fully electric, and Jeep says it's going to be very capable. So let's take a look at just what Jeep has shown us and uh, uh, let's react as we go through this and I'll give you some of my thoughts and opinions. So first of all, let's take a look at the Recon. Look at this. We've got... <laughs> Ralph here, the chief design officer at Stellantis, and he is giving us a quick look at the uh, recon, our first look. Now let's scroll back a little bit before we get too far. I wanna point out a couple cool features that we see in the first clips. So the first thing I notice is, well, look at the design of this. Doesn't this look kind of like the new Hummer EVs front end. Now at least Jeep has stayed true with a seven slot grill, um, but they do have more of a squarish with rounded corner headlights uh, on the front of the new Recon. And that is an interesting look. Now they also do not have wide fender flares like we have on the Wrangler. This is a much more integrated fender into the body panels. Looks oddly like a Bronco. And uh, right off the bat, we can see this is made for off-roading. We have some very aggressive looking tires on here. And uh, of course, Jeep has made a point to have him looking dirty. And on the front, we have some tow hooks. So that means we've got some recovery mount points. This is uh, built to go off-roading and uh, get stuck and be recovered. Now, what I'm wondering about is up front here, do we have anywhere to put a winch? Because that is a very, very important feature. With a Wrangler, you can order the steel bumper and it has provisions to be able to put a winch in there. You just need a winch plate. I'm gonna guess that this has something going on in the front for winch mounting. It just wouldn't be a serious off-roader if you couldn't put a winch on it. What I don't see on the front bumper, and maybe we'll see this as we get a little further in the video, is any sort of sensors. And that is a big problem with the Ford Bronco. If you wanna put a winch on there, you got those front sensors to deal with, the uh, proximity sensors or cruise control sensors. And uh, Jeep in the Wranglers has normally had some sort of radar device uh, box up above the uh, rear view mirror. And so maybe we'll get a better shot of the interior as we go, but I don't see anything on the front, which would which would be really cool, especially if you want to swap this bumper out. Now, I'm not really sure what kind of value you would have in swapping this bumper out because the body extends right to the corners and the approach angle to the front tires is quite covered up. And that is going to make uh, getting up and onto an obstacle very diff difficult. So uh, interesting design. Maybe this bottom plastic piece will be removable and you'll get a, uh, a big notch in the front there. They didn't seem to really indicate anything, but I do see like a bit of a line here across the fender. I'm, I'm gonna hope that this whole black plastic piece can be removed to go off-roading and give you better approach angles. But we can see right off the bat, the Recon has no doors on it. And uh, they want this to be an open air off-road vehicle. We'll see in a second here, because I've seen some photos already. It has the one touch or what sky touch whatever Jeep calls it, the fully retractable roof uh, so that you can get a great view of the surroundings around you. And as we can see here, remove the door um, or doors. And just behind the back of Ralph here, we can see uh, we've got no glass. So I guess we can remove the glass off the back of this, but look how slanted this front windshield is. Probably gonna help with aerodynamics and uh, I was gonna say fuel economy, but battery range and range of this being a bit more aerodynamic and uh, hopefully get a little less rock trips because we know the Wrangler has a very steep vertical front windshield. But I'm not sure about this hood design and grill design. I generally like it, but I just think it looks a little bit too much like, uh, well, let's pull it up. But uh, here's the front end of the Hummer EV and we've got the front end of the new Jeep Recon. Uh, definitely with these 
raised arches over the wheel wells and the small little fender flares. We've got a lot of similarities going on, but uh, the, the Jeep Recon isn't gonna be anywhere near the size of the Hummer EV. Not sure, not sure if I'm big on this front grill and hood look, but it's definitely more modern and uh, I wanna say futuristic, but it's a step uh, in, in the future direction. So let's take a look a little bit more with the Recon as we go here. And we've got uh, full freedom, um, <laughs> interesting choice of words, but fully full freedom of the vehicle by taking the doors off. So I guess uh, that's what freedom is. But I'm really uh, <laughs> kind of wondering about these hinges. And you know, this is a pre-production model and it almost looks like they've just unbolted the doors. We've got some uh, big hinge pieces sticking out. We'll see some more photos of this as we go. But we've got some rock rails along the bottom, it looks like, so that's gonna help with some uh, crawling over, over obstacles. Now, look at this. We've got, oh, let's go back here. We have what looks to be electric controls on the seats. So that's something you don't get in Wranglers and Gladiators is electric controls. And we have a really interesting looking steering wheel. It's sort of like a hexagon. Uh, it's got flat sides and a flat bottom and not uh, it's not a circle. Um, so it's definitely a different take. This is uh, maybe something that will make it to production, maybe not. You see this new steering wheel is something like uh, out of the new C8 Corvette uh, has a very similar look to that. And uh, then in this model here, we have a really nice tan looking leather interior with some uh, cool looking styling in the middle. Uh, be cool to see some uh, electric uh, seat controls. Uh, hopefully they still work if you get water in your Jeep. But now here's your uh, one touch sky view top, uh, fully open. You've got your doors off and uh, you can have the sky fully open to you. But here's another look at the hinges. Look at this hinge sticking out uh, right here on the side. This is uh, this, this can't be making it to production. This looks really, really goofy. We have a nice shot of the front grill. Uh, with it being an EV, we don't need any air intakes or air inlets uh, to cool a radiator behind that. Uh, we have a trail cam and look, what I assume is the washer below that to uh, clean the mud and gunk off of it. And uh, we've got a fancy lit up grill. Looks like we've got LED lighting all behind all seven of the slots. Um, but these are much more compact slots. They're not as tall and narrow as you would see on a Wrangler or Gladiator, the very traditional looking style. So this is helping the Recon stick out and be a little bit unique over uh, the other Wranglers and Gladiators in the lineup with a similar grill. But nice to see that they're putting the trail cam on there. Some people like these, some people don't. I like them, especially when you're coming up and over an obstacle and you can't see what's in front of you or you're trying to align your tires over top of something and well, this has got a big wide hood, so this is probably gonna come in a lot of, come in handy uh, for that type of stuff. Now, I've gone and cut out all of the non-recon parts of this video. Uh, it is a long video about 4 by e things from Jeep, and uh, we're just gonna purely focus on the recon uh, for this video. So here we get another wide shot. We can see in the back, the glass is definitely off, so we have removable glass around the back. Uh, everything that I've read about this so far, you can't take the roof off, so what Jeep is doing is, well, pretty much opening up as much as you can by removable doors, removable glass pieces on the back, and a retractable roof. And they're uh, using the blue styling that uh, we see in the 4xe models uh, already. So here's a good shot of the back. I want to have a really good shot i think we have a photo that we'll look at later in this video of the back what i was trying to figure out is is there an axle and right at the bottom of this clip uh it doesn't look like we have a solid axle of any sort going across the back so let's see if we can find out uh any more about what the suspension and drivetrain looks like from the uh, photos and videos that we have so far um, but we've got a side swing out rear tailgate. So very much like a Wrangler. Looks like we've got the, the handle here on the one side. And I'm going to assume this flips open. Uh, we've got our spare tire on the back. Very Jeep-esque. Uh, rear backup camera. And uh, some new styled taillights. 
Uh, now here's something interesting. We've got a tow hitch. Uh, so Jeep obviously has some plans or is testing with this vehicle towing with a full uh, electric uh, Jeep Recon. So be really curious to see what sort of tow ratings this has. The Wrangler is very low at 3,500 pounds, but a lot of that I, I've heard is just due to the wheelbase. So will the uh, Recon EV be able to tow more being an EV or will it be limited because of a short Wrangler style wheelbase? We're scroll, just scrolling up. Now we can see the back window is out, rear windows are out. We've got some Scott styled, I was gonna say scallops, but like some indentations here on the back. Um, I don't see any hinges for the rear window to flip up. So we don't know for sure. Maybe we'll find out in, in some clips or photos whether or not this is part of the rear tailgate when you open it or if it flips open like a Wrangler. Um, which is kind of nice when you open your tailgate and, and you could flip open the rear window and it provides you some shelter if it's raining and you're getting your gear out or loading stuff in your Jeep. Um, so we'll have to wait and see, but I don't see any hinges across the top and uh, they could very well be integrated into the, the roof, um, but not sure. Let's take a look at some of the photos that I've pulled off of the media site from Jeep. Look at up here above the rear right tailgate tail light. It looks like another hinge. So I'm I'm gonna say this is a maybe that the glass swings open with the tailgate because of the extra hinge there, and the roof is not removable. So you very well could have a hinge up there, and the whole back opens and closes. Which I think for your everyday use, uh, some people are going to find that uh, more useful. You don't have to do a two step opening of the rear, you can just open the whole thing all at once, uh, very much like a G-Wagon, but at the same time, you don't get that uh, coverage over top of you uh, from having the flip up glass. And obviously the roof is not removable. This pretty much seals the deal because we have our third brake light up top. We don't have a third brake light above the spare tire, which is a very signature Wrangler thing because when you have the roof off, in most places you have to have three brake lights and uh, we've got the brake light built in to the roof. Um, and then we've got this four by E massive badge over here on the right hand side that says Moab below it. I'm not sure what they're uh, intending for that, but uh, Moab is an awesome place to go off-roading. If you haven't been there, go check it out. And it's got some very, very famous trails for, uh, for wheeling on. But the big thing about this photo here is we get a really good look of the undercarriage and look at the slant going down towards the wheels. Um, I don't see any solid axle differential here as part of the electric system. This box right here may be an electric motor, probably contains what Jeep is calling their e-locker technology system. So that does have some sort of uh, locking differential or way to lock so that both sides, both wheels are turning uh, when you lose traction. But this could mean that we have an independent rear suspension, which we definitely don't have on Wranglers. And I'm gonna assume we also have an independent front suspension, which we also don't have on Wranglers. So we'll have to find out a little bit more on that later uh, in the future. But it looks to be that there's some uh, rear independent suspension with possibly uh, an, a motor or something like that in the middle. And then you can lock both sides, but that is just me assuming from kind of looking at these photos. And then we've got a we've got a uh, hitch here on the back so that we can, uh, well, pull you out of a situation you might get stuck in. And then we have a uh, cover, which I can only assume is for charging. Obviously it's not for fuel on the rear fender. So we've got a charger in the back, unlike the 4xe Wranglers that has the charger up on the front fender. So let's just flip around to the front. Here is a picture of the uh, Recon with the doors on from the front. Now, we don't really see any axle from the front here. Um, so there's probably uh, some sort of independent front suspension as well. I'm gonna take a really wild guess and assume that is in, in fact true. Now, what we do see from here is that the mirrors on the sides look to be attached to the doors, which the Bronco had an entire different mirror system where it was kind of connected to the top of the hood because a lot of places when you take the doors off, you still need side view mirrors. 
And so with the recon, let's go back to a doorless picture. Here's a good shot of the front again, and we have no side view mirrors on the recon when the doors come off. And I don't know, that seems like a bit of a misstep to me from Jeep to not have that as uh, is such an important thing for a lot of people that can take their doors off. We're not even allowed to take our doors off here in British Columbia. So to me, it's not a big problem, but for you guys that need mirrors, uh, you're gonna have to come up with some solution if you wanna be taking your doors off. So we don't know the dimensions of this yet as far as wheelbase goes and axle width. Um, but if this is as wide as the Wrangler, uh, you've now got a body that's as wide as the Wrangler, which is something that uh, is going to hinder you a little bit off-roading if you're into tighter rocks or trees. It's nice to have the fender sticking out over the wheels, but the body coming in really narrow when you're uh, in tight areas off-roading. However, the flip side is this is gonna give you more interior space because now the body is pushed all the way out and you won't be sitting right next to your passenger uh, on the inside uh, because the body is narrow in the Wranglers. And this is an interesting shot here. We get a cool top-down shot we can see in the new Recon. You can see just how long that front windshield is and how much open air space you get when the uh, roof is all the way retracted. But right here we've got, look at the hinges sticking out the side past the body. I don't know if they're just doing this for the photos to keep it out of the way, um, but that's that's kind of goofy. So hopefully Jeep comes up with something a little better before release. Uh, looks like we have a locking center console so you can stow away your gear and, and it doesn't get ripped off. We've got an interesting part here in the center. We've got this huge red section, which I've noticed in a couple photos, and it looks to have little toggle switches like you would see for the lockers in the Wrangler um, we'll have to wait and find out what this is for, um, but clearly it's for something important if it's all red. Uh, so maybe it's a way to engage the front and rear axles or the lockers or something like that. Um, we've got a couple cup holders next to it, but this round knob here is what I wanted to talk about. This is possibly the Select Train Traction Management System, which is, uh, I'm gonna guess, a feature that we've seen in other off-road vehicles like the Bronco where you can rotate the knob and tell the Jeep what your what kind of surface you're off-roading on. So this, uh, it, you can change it from things like sand, snow, mud, going up a big climb, down a big climb, rocks. And in other vehicles we see this tunes the performance and how the Jeep uh, responds to the throttle and brakes and, and everything going over those different surfaces. and. I'm gonna guess that with electric motors, we get a lot more ability to control torque and speed and maybe even independently control each wheel, which would be uh, an interesting feature. I don't know how helpful that would be, but we don't really have it in a vehicle now, so it's hard to say how useful it would be. But um, if Jeep is gonna build in some really cool technology into this fully electric vehicle and allow you to control that with this center knob here we have on the center console. I think that would be really slick. And so here's another photo of the Recon without its doors on and this one, they haven't even taken the hinges off of the hinge mounts on it. So we get another look at the sides. So we get some Recon badging here on the side. Um, and then it, it's like a step up or a rock slider, uh, some sort of hopefully protection on the side, but a step up into the vehicle. And then we can see, once again, the electric adjustable seats, which is not an option in Wranglers and Gladiators today. And we get another look at what I was talking about here with these center levers. So they're like paddles that you can flip up and down. I really wanna find out what these are for. Uh, hopefully this isn't just some sort of piece they put in for the pre-production model and it serves some sort of functionality, being able to control the front and rear axles or, or front and rear electric motors or the lockers. Um, we'll have to uh, we'll have to wait on that one. We didn't get many images of the interior of the recon. I'd love to see a dash shot, but I think Jeep has purposely uh, kept that out of the media packs for now. Uh, we've got some sort of what looks like lever to flip down the rear seats. So I'm gonna guess we can probably load them in, uh, load them down and flat, and get a nice uh, flat cargo area. 
but there's another good shot of the styling of the recon and we can see just how far this front bumper sticks out from the front of it and hopefully we can take these little plastic pieces off to make this more capable uh, and have a better approach angle with our front tires look at the rear window here now this is kind of a wrangler-esque rear window where you get part of the glass that stays on there and the rest goes down we see it again here in this photo so we've got the two part two part rear window and this is a really good shot of just how steep this uh, front glass is and we get a little bit of glimpse we've got some sort of overhead controls i don't see any radar box for the uh, cruise control and like sort of autopilot-esque features um, lane assist and, and braking when you're uh, when you're in cruise control but hopefully it's something inside and not integrated into the bumper which becomes a problem if you're putting a winch on or possibly hopefully we can you know unbolt the bumper and put aftermarket stuff on but so as far as tire size goes and then I want to just talk about the range here in a second and the capability claims the Jeep is saying but we can see we've got BF Goodrich uh, it's hard to make out the tires that we have on here. Maybe you guys know what tires these are. They're very aggressive looking style tire from BF Goodrich. I was trying to get a look at the tire size, um, but we can see these are all terrain tires. Uh, oh, here we go. These are BF Goodrich KO2s that they have on here. So really aggressive looking off-road tire, but they have done a very good job at not letting us see the print on the side to see what size tires we have on here. It's too bad, I really wanted to know what size tires these were. So let's just talk about range and what we know and when this is coming out. Um, so in this video, Jeep talks about it being able to drive and do the Rubicon Trail, which is sort of the benchmark for off-roading. They're claiming that you can go run the Rubicon and then make it back to town and charge up your Jeep Recon uh, all on a single charge. Now, I'm not sure how much of a claim that actually is because, well, I went and looked up and double checked and the Rubicon is only 22 miles or about 35 kilometers to run the actual trail itself. And the closest charging station to the Rubicon near the southern side of Lake Tahoe is only 19 miles or 30 kilometers away from the trailhead. Is Jeep saying that this is only gonna have about 41 miles or about 65 kilometers of range? Because that, to me, seems incredibly low for a fully electric vehicle. Unless they're talking about driving up from Sacramento all the way to the Rubicon and back, that would be a much more impressive uh, bit of range. We'll have to wait and see exactly what the range is coming on the new Recon. And as far as availability and pricing goes, uh, we have no pricing as of right now, but Jeep says this will be available for the 2024 model year, and we're gonna be able to see it at some trade shows in 2023, and that's when reservations will be open. So I'll be keeping a close eye on this, uh, specifically around the range. The range will be really important if I will be considering getting one of these, and uh, I can't wait to see all of the features and uh, specifications for the new recon. Let me know, guys, what do you think of electric off-road vehicles? Uh, I think it's the start of the future. I think that when we get range up to be a little higher, they'll be great for multi-day overlanding trips, but for day off-roading trips, if Jeep can get some really good range out of the new recon, that is gonna be super awesome. Um, let me know as well what you think of the styling of this new Recon. It's definitely a bold jump from the Wrangler. This is not meant to replace the Wrangler as far as I know, but just augment the Jeep lineup with a fully electric, very capable off-road vehicle. Uh, I keep wanting to call it a 4x4, but it's part of the 4xe lineup and branding that Jeep is going with. My final thoughts on the look though is it looks uh, a little bit too much like a Bronco. So I'll leave that with you guys. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video and uh, I will see you guys in the next upload.